Hello and welcome to ITV News. This is the update from Calendar. Police have launched a murder investigation after the death of a woman in Sheffield. Officers were called to Cromford Street at 10 past three this afternoon where a 47-year-old woman was seriously injured inside a property. She died in hospital just over an hour later. A 43-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of murder. Yorkshire County Cricket Club says it's launched a full investigation after reports of drunken disorder from a group of fans at Friday night's match. The club says it's taking action against supporters shown in the social media footage from Headingley and won't tolerate their behaviour. Four days of Jubilee celebrations have come to an end this evening with hundreds across our region attending street parties despite heavy downpours in some areas. The rain didn't dampen spirits in the village of Burr Wallace near Doncaster where people gathered to celebrate Queen Elizabeth's 70-year reign following a yellow weather warning from the Met Office. Locals enjoyed themed DJ sets, creative crafts and circus training. It's giving people permission to come out and do something together and when they do, you can see the community lifts and people really respond to that, you know, it's very important. And I think it's getting generations in, so there's grandma, there's mum, dad, there's the children, even grandchildren, you know, and I just think that's what's really special, giving people wholesome things to do for a change that we don't normally get to do that, even if it is raining. <laughs> Happy Jubilee! She's on the throne for 70 years and she's absolutely magnificent. She's the best ever. And that's why we're here today, celebrate the Queen. Well, the Jubilee celebrations this weekend have brought back memories for people across our region of when Her Majesty has visited here. In 2008, she visited the Great Yorkshire Show in Harrogate. On hand to make sure she arrived safely was Mike Woodhall, a police officer leading her convoy, and Bill Cowling, who was then the show director. I'm Bill Cowling and in 2008 when Her Majesty the Queen came to the Great Yorkshire Show I was show director and I had the great honour to show her around. For the Queen to come it's something very special. I'm Mike Woodhall and I was the convoy commander. It was nice to be right in front of the Queen's car seeing all the people waiting behind all the barriers and things to actually hopefully get a glimpse of, of the Queen herself. During the day the Queen saw most aspects of the show. We went round the cattle lines, we had all the champions of all the various breeds of cattle and she went and spoke to all the handlers and exhibitors and then we went round the horses in the her beloved Cleveland Bays of course which were in the ring, well we made sure they were in the ring when she came to them. Everything's done to meticulous timings and when we picked the Queen up at the end of the day to take her back to Hornbeam Railway Station where she was getting on the Royal Train, lo and behold the train wasn't there. So the Royal Train driver unfortunately mixed his timings up and there was a period of six minutes where Queen and Philip were just standing on the railway station, more than content I think, just to stand there and be, and be normal members of the public for a few moments. To be in her presence, to be able to talk to her, and show her around the show. It's a most amazing chapter in my life. It's something I will never forget. And it's nice to be involved when the Queen comes to your own hometown towards the end of my service, so it gives me some nice memories to look back on and uh, some, some proud days. Mike Woodhall and Bill Cowling there with their memories of meeting the Queen. In other news, plans have been revealed for the UK's largest single-site maternity centre at the LGI in Leeds. The unit will have the capacity to deliver more than 10,000 babies every year and provide care for patients across the wider region. At the moment, maternity care in Leeds is split across the LGI and St James's. And finally, good luck to Sheffield busker Maxwell Thorpe, who's the bookie's favourite to win Britain's Got Talent tonight. The 32-year-old got a standing ovation for his performance of Now We Are Free in the semi-finals on Monday. The winner of the competition will be revealed live on ITV later tonight. Well, that's the news now, Emma, with the weather. The outlook for the day is calm and settled. Tui Blue Hotels, sponsor ITV Yorkshire Weather.
Hello there. I hope you've been enjoying the long bank holiday weekend. We're all reflecting now on the Jubilee celebrations. The weather could have been a little bit better, could it not? And going forward, it's not no great shakes really either, I'm afraid. Turning quite damp overnight with the rain becoming more persistent in places. But brighter tomorrow, however, it will be quite breezy at the coast. So tomorrow afternoon is going to be better than tomorrow morning. There'll be some drier interludes on Tuesday and Thursday, but still the shower risk continues and there will be a band of rain crossing on Wednesday. But it's all very messy, the detail on this, so we're keeping it quite broad brush at the moment and of course we'll keep you up to date with everything as we go along. Rewinding then to the next few hours, a damp mild feeling evening, some patchy rain around which does become more persistent as I say through the early hours of the morning but temperatures hold up well. Quite breezy at the coast but with lighter winds inland and a bit of mist and drizzle over the hills too. Sun's up tomorrow at 4.38 and first thing it's going to be quite dull and it will be pretty damp too but then it will brighten up by the afternoon. It's still going to be quite gusty at the coast, gusts of 25 miles an hour per potentially inland much lighter winds and actually feeling quite pleasant and warm in any sunnier slots. After that, the shower risk continues, especially on Wednesday. Apart from that, rain comes through overnight, getting windy towards the end of the week as well. Tui Blue Hotels. Sponsor ITV Yorkshire Weather. Hello, Summer. Piri sponsors ITV Pollen Count. On then to the pollen report now. Grass and nettle, and it's very dependent on amounts of rainfall over the next few days with the fluctuating forecast. So the counts will fluctuate between moderate and high. That's it for now. Bye bye. Thanks. Well, that's it from me for now. Our next bulletin's bright and early tomorrow, just after six in Good Morning Britain. But from all of us here on the weekend team, goodbye for now.